another delivery from China, and this is another item that has been improved from what you might have seen across YouTube before, and I had to buy it when I saw it. I thought it was really interesting and could be really useful. It comes in this great little presentation box with something on the top right hand corner. And it's one of these USB adjustable loads um, and it's got a fine and a coarse adjustment actually it's mentioned there on the silk screen it's covered in this plastic so uh, should we get that off so we'll just take that off carefully and uh, leave that there so it's got a heatsink and a fan on the top and uh, oh, a bit of perspex on the bottom, you know I'm a sucker for that, it's got a piece of needs a thing peeling off though, I'll do that at some point. But this one has a little screen on it and I think it's an OLED, I can't quite remember from the listing but the other thing it has up its sleeve is on this side and it's got a multitude of USB connectors here we've got the mini USB that's a USB-C port there micro USB and an Apple lightning connector and the idea is there you can test various different cables now looking at that that micro USB is that damaged? Hopefully not. Let's see if we can plug a cable in there. So I've got a decent quality micro USB cable here. No, that goes in absolutely fine. So uh, let's find a power bank and plug it in. Okay, so I've angled it on its box so we can see it and zoomed right in. And if I plug it in, there's a little beep. Some characters there and... Okay, so it's showing the V plus on the USB, but it's also showing the data plus and data minus as well, which is quite handy, and uh, some other information there. So if we start increasing the load, so it's also showing the resistance. You can see we've got 1.91 amps coming through there now at the moment. So also a temperature, is that of the MOSFET or the um, transistor or whatever they're using to act as the load. Presumably that's got its own temperature there. And it's showing 2 minutes 58 seconds, 59, 3 minutes there. It hasn't been on that long so clearly this might have been under some sort of test previous to now. So this has been on a little bit now, it's got up to 52 degrees. I'm not entirely sure when the fan kicks in, but surely that will before long. My power bank's struggling a bit here, it's only supplying 4.5 volts according to this little screen. 1.88 amps and... Uh, oh, there goes the, um, the fan on top at 55 degrees. If I try and increase the amps there a little bit the voltage drops away quite considerably 2.36 amps if I reduce that it is very sensitive this course adjustment and uh, what does the button do presumably that's got a menu system Yep, so there's a milliamp hour reading there, watt hours. That sort of thing, but uh, that was all in Chinese. Ah, larger numbers there, 4.83 volts, 1 amp. How many watts we're pulling? And back to that first menu, I think, again. So, of course, there's a question over how accurate this is, so uh, let's see if we can determine that. Well, looking at this, the voltage isn't too far away here, 5.15, 5.10, but the current is 
quite a long way off, isn't it? Uh, 1.174 and 0.94 amps here. And uh, if I increase that, say to 2 amps or thereabouts, I'll just go short. Oh, exactly 2 amps. Yeah, it's a good 10% out, isn't it? Um, according to my porter power meter, which we've determined in previous videos, is pretty accurate. So as I test a, a lightning cable now in the lightning port, we're still seeing that same difference there, sadly, between the 5.1 volts here and the uh, the current that's also being uh, withdrawn from my power bank. Uh, but this also has another interesting little feature. You can add additional loads in there in the top. As you can see now, I've increase the load to 1.28 amps and of course by using one of these little wire wound resistive loads that takes some of the heat away from the circuitry on the actual DC load here and if I get the light just right here you can see that this is a Fairchild tip 122 and looking at the data sheet um, of that tip 122 you can see it's a Darlington transistor and here's the uh, diagram of that transistor here and looking at the eBay listing you can see it was £13.50 which at the current price is just under 18 US dollars I believe it's 35 watt 4 amp OLED USB electronic load capacity tester and uh, it's good I think yeah, it's good between 3.5 volts and 21 volts, so it's compatible with Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0. And uh, it's good for 0 to 3 amps adjustable, it says here. Um, although on the title it says 4 amps. Um, operating error no more than 2%. Well, I beg to differ, I'm afraid. But I can confirm that the smart start temperature, threshold temperature, is 55 degrees. That's what it showed me as well when it turned on. And right down the bottom of the listing, 4 to 21 volts, 0 to 5 amps now, 4 amps, 3 amps, 5 amps, who knows. Uh, accumulated uh, capacity goes up to 99,999 milliamps. And all the other information is there. I'll link to this product in the description below. There are some improvements to be made with this design, but uh, to be honest, it's another one of those items where they had a product, a USB load, and I thought, what else can we shove on this device and add a couple of quid to the price? And uh, a screen and all those connectors, well, they'll come in handy one day, I'm sure. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.